Welcome everyone to a Google Tips and Tricks video. Today we're going to go over Google Meet. So a couple of the things we're going to accomplish in the next few minutes. We're going to learn how to start a Google Meet session and review the basics for hosting that session, sharing your screen, that kind of thing. Um, we're also going to go over how to record that Google Meet session and how to find that recording and share it. So whether you're a teacher watching this or a student watching this, you can use Google Meet to record yourself talking, record your screen, and then share it with whoever you would like. So let's dive in. So you'll access Google Meet by going into your Hartnell Gmail account and you will see Meet towards the middle left of your screen. You can either start a meeting or join a meeting in progress. So this would be if you want to record a lecture if you're a faculty member or maybe you want to record a uh, presentation that you're making as a student. So no matter who you are you can use this product and it will work beautifully. So just click on start a meeting and your screen, hello, will look something like this. Um, you may have to click allow to allow your screen to um, capture your video and capture your audio through a microphone. So just make sure you click allow. It will walk you through it, whatever it is. Um, but you'll be able to join your meeting now. So I hit start meeting and now I'm clicking join now. I can also join by phone if I don't have a microphone, for example. Um, so I can click join now. And this is my joining information right here. So I will be able to send this information if I was leading a live meeting. So people can join my meeting this way. Um, but for right now, we're just going to make a recording. So we don't need to add anybody to our meeting. So I'm going to click out of that here. Hello again. I'm going to turn off my camera. This is a lot of pressure. <laughs> so turn off your camera really easily right here. Um, you can mute yourself if you wanted to right here as well. Um, you'll also see that you, know, you are making noise by this little indicator here that's capturing my voice. Um, so I can also turn on live captioning, which is pretty neat. Um, it's not the most accurate, but it's not bad. So it's a great option for live captioning. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. It's actually pretty darn good. <laughs> And then you can also present your screen if you would like, um, which will allow you to share your screen if you have like a PowerPoint presentation or a Google Slides presentation on your screen. So that allows you know this to capture your voice and it will also capture whatever is on your screen. And then when you're ready, you can start recording by hitting these three dots and hit record meeting. And it will prompt you to ask for consent. That way, um, if you're actually in a meeting and you have multiple people in here, it, it says, hey, make sure you ask everybody to make sure that's okay. We don't have anyone in this meeting except for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not worried about it. Accept. And you'll see the recording will start soon. And when it goes red, it's actually recording. So start speaking, show your screen, whatever you have to do during your presentation. When you're finished, Click the three dots here and stop recording and confirm. And now it tells you that the recording will be saved to your Google Drive. It may take a little while the first time you do this um, to create that folder in your drive and upload your recording. So just be patient with it. You will receive an email when your recording has posted to your Google Drive. So at this point, you've done your presentation, you've recorded it, and now you're just waiting for that email that says your recording is ready. So we can end the meeting by clicking this little leave call button. It looks like a big red phone. And that's all we need to do. We just need to wait for that email. So here's an example of what that email will look like. It's going to come from meet recordings, no reply at google.com. It's going to be some weird, you know, meeting name, but it's going to give you the date and time that the recording was finished. And you can go directly and open it in Drive. 
The other way that you can do this is by going into your drive by going to drive.google.com, which should look something like this. And you'll see that you have a new folder called Meet Recordings. So you can go into there and you'll see any recordings here. So right click it and you can rename it so that it's a more accurate name. Um, I'm guessing that your instructor, if you're, if you're a student, your instructor probably wants you to name it with your first initial last name, something like that. Um, I would ask them about it to see what it is. If you're an instructor, name it whatever your lecture topic is about. And that's super easy, so I'm just going to go ahead and rename it and say L. Otero Group Presentation. And yes, you can have multiple people in your Google Meet and you can make a group presentation this way. So click OK. So now I have my item renamed. I'm going to right click on it again and I am going to click Get Shareable Link. Now this is the way that you're going to share your presentation either with your students or with your instructor. So click on Get Shareable Link. Make sure that instead of restricted, it says anyone with the link. And you don't want to say Hartnell College because sometimes that restricts you. If you're a student, you're on the student domain and it will not share properly with your Hartnell teacher. If you're a teacher, it may not share properly with the student. So don't click Hartnell College. Click anyone with the link. And then you can copy your link. This is the link that you're going to share with either your instructor or your students. So copy that link, click done. Anytime you want to get back to that link, by the way, just go into that Meet Recordings, right click it again and say Get Shareable Link. You've already adjusted it to anyone with the link, so you're just going to be able to copy your link at any time this way. Hit done. So now, you can either embed this link in Canvas, uh, if you're the instructor and you want to share your lecture, or you can submit this link to your instructor as your presentation link. Either way will work. So if you have any other questions, please let me know. Um, you can reach out, if you're a student, reach out to the Panther Learning Lab or the Tutorial Center. Um, they are very, very helpful folks that, that will be glad to, to get you on track with this stuff. Um, if you're a faculty member, feel free to reach out to me directly. And that's about it. So feel free to use Google Meet to launch meetings um, and to share those recordings with anyone you would like. Thanks for watching.